Good day everybody, my name is Milan and today I'm going to show you how to update your drivers and everything on your computer the best way you can. Of course, I only have an NVIDIA system with the Intel processor, but if you have AMD, just comment down below and I'll help you step by step with their AMD software. And if you hear something barking the whole time like a cat, I have my cat here making sounds sing birds you know of course the first thing you need to do and it is the most simple one is to go and type updates and not for discord if you click on settings you can go check for updates on your windows everybody needs to do this if you check here for updates you will eventually get the updates you need for example security updates drivers for your computer and sometimes they won't install automatically because you can go here to advanced options it's the same with windows 10 by the way and then you can go to optional updates. Here, you should be able to find some options. Here we have driver updates and other updates. These, you just have to select like this, and then right below, you should be able to click download and install. If you do this, you will update your own windows and all drivers you need. Sometimes drivers won't install automatically. What you can do is right click on the windows icon, then go to device manager after doing this you should be able to see this pop up and when you check here if you scroll down you should be able to see other devices like this and it says a uh, warning icon it's nothing bad it just means that the drivers aren't installed yet so for example here we have display adapters which is your gpu i don't know why it's checking the whole time but here you can see my intel graphics and nvidia nvidia graphics sometimes you don't even see your own Graphics card here, and that's because your graphics drivers aren't downloaded yet. What you can do to fix that is, for example, type NVIDIA drivers, AMD drivers, or Intel graphics drivers. So here we have NVIDIA drivers. If you search for these, you should be able to find the NVIDIA page. With AMD, it's the same. There you go. You should be able to find the page. And with Intel, it's also the same. It just has uh, two of them, which is ARC, of course, and the processor drivers. Oh yeah, and AMD, they also make processors. So let's say, for example, I want to install Intel drivers. I just have to click here, go to this page. It's dark mode for me. I would just turn that off. And if you're interested, I have actually a best apps for everything. And it's called bio.tide, my favorite apps. I'm still updating this, but if you go here, you will see multiple options. Download any video, all TV shows. And if you scroll down right here, you should be able to find dark mode everywhere. It's a web tool. I've actually added it. Make sure you check it down. Uh, it's bio.site slash my favorite apps very easily. And you can find multiple apps and I'm still adding more. So you get the best ones you need. Let's go back. Activate cookies. They always ask for this. This is so it's, rec it's remembering what you've done on the website. So if you get back, it loads faster and remember some data like your logins automatically log in your login passwords is the different location but for the rest here we have automatically update your drivers and software which is what i recommend because if you're not an expert with drive with installing them it could be a little bit more difficult for example you have a, a processor uh, that you have to install you should be able to see here select your product and here we have processors so cpu is another word for it if we go here, you should be able to find Arc and Iris, which is, of course, the Arc drivers, which are graphics drivers. But here already becomes complicated if you're not used to it. So let's just click on automatically update. If you click here on download now, you should be able to download it and then install it. But what I'm going to do is show you how to do it with AMD. Here we have AMD. You can maybe find auto detect, but if you can't, let's go to the website. Then I'm going to turn off my dark mode. Unless you like dark mode, then I will leave it on. Here, you should be able to find uh, Windows drivers and Linux drivers. Depends on which operating system you're running. Mac OS and all is already updating it on its own, on its own for security reasons. Um, download Windows drivers. It's probably the system where you're, where you're on. So let's click here on download Windows drivers. After doing that, it's of course going to install. And it's the same. You just have to install this. And it's eventually going to work. What you also have is if you scroll down, you can find specific drivers. So let's, for example, say you have a graphics card and this graphics card may be a Radeon 600, 500 or 400 series. 
is of course the number is different let's go here and then let's say you have a radian 500 series i clicked wrong my fault a 500 series and you have the um, maybe 550 and now you submit it and then you're going to be able to download the specific drivers you need so you don't have a lot of bloatware on your pc and bloatware is apps and all that you don't need and it's still installed on your system let's go to nvidia drivers here we have the official page let's click here on download i mean of course the top page here you should also be able to search for manual driver search so for example i have an nvidia geforce um 4080 i wish i had that i don't and here's the 4080 super if you click on it and then it's going to manually search you should be able to um download the drivers from that let's say for example of uh, um this one uh, this one specifically this windows it doesn't really matter when the 10 11 are pretty much the same if you click here on find it should be able to find those drivers specifically there you go and here you can also install it you may be able to find here nvidia studio driver you can feel it or the game ready driver if you game more than you for example edit videos you photoshop and those things but let's go back because we have get automatic driver updates you should be able to scroll down and install these three options which is geforce game ready driver the nvidia studio driver then nvidia rtx quadro desktop and notebook driver if you have a quadro system you should be able to download this you can find this by the way if you right click on the windows icon and go to device manager after doing this, you should be able to find display adapters and should be able to see the name of your own graphics driver. Make sure you update your drivers because otherwise you won't be able to see it and it's more difficult. If you have a PC, you should be able to see it on the sticker or where you bought it, the products list, and there is the name of your system, GPU. So I game a lot. So I want to install the GeForce Game Ready driver. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click here on download. It's that easy. And then it's going to take me to this page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we want to get automatic driver updates. If you install this, you will get the NVIDIA app. And that's how they work. And if you download it, you should be able to get this. And it is one of the things I can show. I'm sure I can't show the rest. And it's probably having an update. It is. <laughs> like they said, it's automatically updating. I have an NVIDIA, a graphics drive, a graphics card, and a processor uh, i7 from Intel. So, of course, I can only so show these things. But for the rest, it's very easy. You have the NVIDIA app. You have drivers right here. And you don't really need to do a lot. It's very easy. You just have to refresh every single few weeks. And after doing that, you should be able to get the latest drivers. Uh, I gain more than I uh use programs but it doesn't really matter too much if you only focus on studio work then you should be able to download this it doesn't really affect a lot just change a little bit but not too much it's just game optimizations those things but yeah for this the nvidia app we also have the intel app intel graphics command center i of course don't have an arc cpu i do have integrated graphics that means that the processor contains the graphics um card pretty much it's integrated so let's click here on accept i've never really opened this but here um you also have if you want to open it in the system here you have the system itself i have my gpu here you can see information but this one of course also just automatically updates your system i hope you found this video useful i know i don't have an amd system i wish i had and i could have shown you the amd software the radeon drivers and everything like that but for the rest, if you just update your system like this with Intel, I'm pretty sure it's pretty much automatic. And uh, they try to make it as automatic as possible. Just install these um, programs. You should be able to install everything automatically. Make sure you check out our merch, by the way. I'm actually making a lot of t-shirts and all. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this. And check out the bio.site slash my favorite apps. And if you search for this, you should be able to find a lot of great apps you want to use. I've also made some videos about it, but hey, this is a whole page for it all. I'll say uh, goodbye to White Cat. <laughs> Can't even see him just because how bright it is outside. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Mau mau.